the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is the story that transformed a tiny group of believers into the world's largest religion. But was the story really new? Now, a tablet called the Jesselson Stone, named for respected antiquities collector David Jesselson, has recently surfaced. We don't have anything like it of such a long, prophetic, biblical inscription from that time on stone. The Jesselson Stone threatens to destroy the claim that Christ's crucifixion and resurrection were unique. The sensational claim that made all the headlines was that the writing on the stone indicates that the Christian belief in the resurrection of Jesus wasn't anything new, that the belief that a Messiah might die and be raised after three days already existed in Judaism before the time of Jesus. The tablet, also known as the Gabriel Revelation Stone, tells an apocalyptic story. Much of the wording has eroded, but what remains is a vivid tale of Jerusalem besieged by armies, and a final battle in which a prince of princes will combat the Antichrist. But the most interesting passage is line 80, in which the angel Gabriel commands a prince of princes to do something after three days. Exactly what that command is, no one is sure. Time has rendered this passage virtually unreadable. But Hebrew University professor Israel Kanol thinks he knows the answer. Kanol believes that Gabriel is commanding the Prince of Princes to rise from the dead after three days. So Gabriel is speaking to this person and he's telling him, commanding him actually, in three days, leave, resurrect. Canole is perhaps the world's leading expert on messianic figures from the time of Christ. He is out to prove that the stone tells the story of the Messiah before Christ, and that Jesus knew of this Messiah and based his own life on him. Canole's interpretation hinges on a passage in the stone just four words long. Most scholars agree that the first three words are by three days. So uh, we can see this is line 80. We have first the, the words Leshloshet Yamin in three days. This is clear, no question about it. Uh, but the debate is on the fourth uh, word. The fourth word has been washed away, and that's where the controversy comes in. According to Israel Kanol, the last word has only one possible meaning, live. To Canole, the angel Gabriel is commanding a prince of princes by three days, live. In ancient Hebrew, the word live is sometimes spelled with four letters, chet, aleph, yud, and he. But in line 80 on the stone, only the first three letters of the mystery word are clear. If the last letter exists and turns out to be the letter He, then Canole's translation is correct. The word is live, proving that the story of the resurrection predated Jesus. I don't think you can read the tablet. I think that section where he's seeing in three days rise is illegible. I don't see those letters there. And by the way, neither does anyone else. Some scholars believe that the mystery word can be read not as rise or live, but as raise us up. He will raise us up is a common ancient Hebrew phrase, meaning God's mercy will be granted to all people. If this translation is accurate, the Jesselson Stone is an interesting find, but not a revolutionary artifact 